we didn't walk in and say, look, by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, you will release every slave that there is under your jurisdiction or in anybody's jurisdiction and whomever they were talking to, if they talked to anybody at all, or else. See, that's the way it's always been down through history. In other words, like the Corleones, I'm going to give that example again. Somebody might remember in the Godfather 1. The Godfather doesn't make requests for the second time. If he's turned down for the first time, you find a horse's head in your bed or something else. In other words, you're going to get a made an offer you can't refuse. Now, black people, according to everything I've read, weren't in, a, in any position in the 1800s to make an offer to anybody that they couldn't refuse. So that decision was made, presumably, by the white supremacists of this world themselves. We are going to modify our style of practicing racism. That's all that was. People sometimes ask, when does slavery end? And you get a grade on it in school and all like that. But the true answer is, it didn't. When did black slavery end? It didn't. Nowhere in the world. So-called colonialism, which is slavery. When did it end? It didn't. Why? Because you still have white supremacy. I mean, so calling it by another name didn't change that. So what was the name that it was called? Slavery. So what is slavery? Slavery is nothing but a form of mistreatment that you haven't figured out a way to do anything about it. It's just another form, it's just another name for one other word that I use all the time, mistreatment. Anytime somebody is mistreating you and you don't know what to do about it, you are a slave to the person who is mistreating you. That is a law of logic, that's a law of physics, that is a law of the universe. 